first citizen at the area coming so Mike is moving in start of next year so January and I'm building him the house here as you saw we can take a look and as you can see the county has started developing the area also we got nice gravel road here and also over here we have a nice dirt dirt road base to his house and uh, here is the uh, here is the house building construction guys are doing the inside now so couple of months and it's ready to be moved in pretty cool thing so one thing about this house which I like to talk about is as you can see we got the electricity here so a little bit infra infrastructure has been brought in and all the, also we got there we can show you uh, electricity uh, hub or <laughs> things like that and the uh, water and that kind of infra infrastructure so the idea of this uh, that people are moving on the area and I'm building houses, housing for them is that uh, the uh, worker cost, in my opinion, is so ridiculously high. So it's <laughs> it's if I'm playing three month season, so three days a month, and if Mike is doing for me uh, eight hours per day work, so that's about forty eight thousand dollars per month the salary so that's pretty ridiculous salary so for a farming hand so i'm putting a municipality subsidy signs on the uh, you know on the houses so i'm on hard economy so i will get eight thousand four hundred dollars per month rent for from them so i'm uh, you know getting a little compensation of the of the uh, ridiculously high salary so that's my fix on that i was hoping that the salaries would uh, be, be a little bit adjusted with the update so but uh, you know yeah that's 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 uh, if, we, if you think about yearly salary so that is uh, yeah pretty darn high and I'm using workers whole lot on this on this series so that's really big big uh, cost if we take a look here quickly wage payment where is it uh, here so these are just 10,000 on that month yeah and these are not quite quite small jobs so that is why 
I'm doing that that housing thing. Yeah. So here also we got little infra, infra, infrastructure. I don't know what was the name of this? I can't remember. It was uh, some kind of hub or something. <laughs> but anyway, today we are doing the silage, silage production for for our grass so we got all the uh, we got another tractor and our truck here already so we have purchased the silo which was in auction at this uh, old farm that has been ended and it would it's wooden made we uh, moved it here but it's not the final final solution for that silage but it will do for now and it, it was cheap about 30,000 but uh, hello Carol how are you so let's take a look here this guy is in, in sale but it's 54,000 and it's really really expensive but the horse horsepower does fit on us so I'm thinking I'm gonna pump up the loan we got a, we got uh, the, our credit line is uh, grown, so that is a good thing. So I think we're something around eight hundred and forty thousand or something. But yeah, hopefully this solid thing will boost our boost our money up, and it's really really good price right now one hundred and eighty four. So obviously, I have, as you saw, I bought the uh, John Deere Batwing mower. So with that, I can mulch also. It can it can be configured as as a mulcher. And also, these fields are now weeded and fertilized, and I need to mulch this and do that. So that's why the John Deere, you know strokes two flies and one strokes <laughs> strokes yeah so and here here is our on the same place where the stone grass was or the uh, solids fermenting silos so uh, what was yeah i think i because this is now i mowed all all of our grass it's there's a whole lot of grass to uh, windrow and collect so i'm thinking also because I own this, I could also mow this guy, this 55 here, because this is our our plot. So that's probably what I'll do also off camera possibly. But uh, yeah, let's get money and get that, get just bought by that. We can always sell it back if we going too close to bankruptcy. Uh, borrow so it was something like 50,000 so I think I will go with we can have a couple of things also at least so 740 we will go with that and buy this and obviously we need to we need to pre, uh, repair it yeah and also I would really like to have money to repair our, our <laughs> tractors but we'll see yeah, I think we'll go with standard and nothing like that. Yes, solid at it when we don't need no license plate because it's not uh, American. Okay, and buy 56,000. So, yeah, pretty expensive, but anyway, that is now ours, and we don't need to. I think the uh, I'm I'm struggling here because of the leasing cost and these fields take so much time to to work but uh, yeah so this we need to lease the uh, wind rover so we need to get that grass it's so big amount that we need to get nice big swafts uh, how much is this for lease <laughs> Three thousand nine hundred eighteen hundred was it or sixteen hundred per hour? Let's see. But this guy eleven, 
Yeah, I think we'll go with this one. Viconis, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Is there any other? What? Yeah. Uh, no plate. Yeah. And least this. So it's uh, 12 points. Five. So I think that we used this earlier. So this was pretty good. At least that one. Okay. So and then we need a little bit of little bit of solid additive. I think that's why the truck is here. I'm gonna put that on the uh, back of it. So oh, let's take a look here. Drum. Fifty liters. Hmm, I think I need, I'll take two, and two, okay, that's good, so, where's the additives, here, where's the other one, over here, okay, <laughs> okay, so, what else, uh, yeah, I think that's that's all. Yeah, one thing I forgot to show you in the last episode was the amount of soybeans. <laughs> I forgot totally. So we got uh, 214,608 liters. So that is waiting there for June. And as you can see, I, I updated the game. So I really like the prices so in now. So that is pretty handy. And uh, one thing I'm also uh you know thinking here yeah i think we need that yeah windrow first i'm thinking here you know i we i really need to probably change these tractors at some point i'm probably going to i have something in my mind already but uh maybe go a little bit older but uh, because these are uh, quite similar horsepower so I think I'm going to probably go with a little bit lower on the 200 side and then a little bit higher on over 300 but I'm not having any luck with the um, sale tractors on sale as you could saw there was this this uh, yeah T9, so 200,000, so way over our budget at this point, but yeah, and also I really need to get those animals coming, and that would be probably in the spring, springtime, but I don't know, that's one thing we need to go, but now we are getting our own equipment, so that is pretty good, good thing, and we have those cow sets also the mods are pretty good mods available now so I don't have to pay half a million for for a cow barn so that is one thing we need to get going so uh, yeah let's take a look of the silo it's that Omatana mod obviously you probably guessed already so there it is and uh, that will be pop Probably if I'm going to do the uh, car area on here on the uh, by the lake, so that will be probably demolished, and uh, we will get a little bit newer one and more high tech, high tech, uh, you know, stuff in. But this will do for now, for now because it's cheap, and uh, we only do grass with it, so. That will do, but the capacity is a little bit unrealistic. But I don't, uh, I believe so. <laughs> I, I have not calculated the width of that doser, but yeah. So, um, I think this is really boring part. I will do a time lapse here when I'm, uh, yeah, starting this. Uh, this wind drawing and uh, then we will 
also uh, get the uh, get the collection process going and uh, yeah they, this will probably take a whole, whole game day but uh, anyway this gotta has to be done and we need that money so that is the thing so I will do a little time-lapse here and uh, when I have uh, put few loads of this grass into the silos then we come back and uh, start the uh, fermenting process and maybe we will we'll, we'll be able to sell some of it uh, today already but I will see you later Okay, so few lo loads have been delivered here and let's see how much do we have in here. So we have 212,000 liters, about 217, so quite a bit, 18. So um, as you can see we can produce 120,000 liters per month so that is 40,000 per game day so uh, that is actually pretty good because the trailer holds 36 and 5 so that is uh, pretty sweet so actually one trailer per day and we are probably going to sell it straight away regardless the price what it is but um, the next cut I'm thinking I will make hay so we get uh, double we get to double our production on this side so that's a, that's a pretty good thing but anyway now we have a really long way to go and uh, we need to or I need <laughs> I need to probably do first this uh, whole area with that wind drawing <laughs> all the way over there so we can free up the uh, second tractor and get Mike to work and <laughs> get his pay earned and uh, yeah we get to customize that more and get it to as a mulcher and get him to mulch that field too so I think I will see you a little bit later when when we are getting that mulcher ready customized so this will take 
me a bit of time but uh, yeah it's youtube time for me <laughs> so i will see you a little bit later all right guys so there we go it took a while and uh, actually recording this episode takes me a whole lot of time this is this is now third session that I'm recording this so it has been three days already but yeah it's, it's just a grinding now but we can leave this uh, windrow here and it can be returned to the store and then we will just customize this more Yeah, I think we will we'll, we'll wash it afterwards because it's going to get dirty again, obviously. So let's go to the uh, trigger is around here. Yeah, this is a pretty handy, handy, handy tool. This bat wing mower. I think we can repair it at the same time and customize and then just take the mulcher and yeah and it didn't cost anything okay so oh yeah we gotta hook it again oh what am I doing now yeah so I think I will, I think I will just put my, uh, my to work from this end of the field here. Yeah, and this is a six meter mulcher, so it will take uh, quite a long time. But yeah, I'm happy to pay him now. Now when he's paying me rent from his house be at the beginning of the next year so we will just unfold this here. I hope just hope there's you know issues. I haven't tested this, this tool yet. And yeah, I think it works. And it goes a whole lot faster than the uh, other mulcher. It went seven miles, I think, or ten. I don't know, but it seems a lot faster. Let's see here. Oh, it's not on. Let's take that on and this off. Yeah, it's working. Great. So I can can continue there and as you can see I have a, have a whole lot of uh, grass to pick up so I think I will see you when this is done this will probably take me two or three hours but yeah I will catch up a couple of videos I will see you a lot later for me okay there we go all the grass is now collected here's the last little bit 700 liters and mike is here going along he's two-thirds done so this took me about two hours with this forage wagon so the big question remains did we hit the one million? Yeah, so two hours of this, but we will see. Let's dump this here. And no, we didn't. My, my, so a little bit over, over one load left. So we were made roughly 950 if we take a look though of the processed silage also 
so 950,000 liters but no that's pretty good but <laughs> I'm a little disappointed that didn't it make a million if I got these along the field so I could have made it but uh, yeah never mind yeah so I think that is the episode for the day that we are going uh, towards a winter and uh, I don't know where the next episode is going to be obviously we are going to sell the one load of silage when when there's enough to fill this trailer and uh, yeah but I have a one one uh, business business um, proposal as you would say coming in there's this guy on the uh, town that I live in he has a baker his name is Willie so he's uh, he's uh, planning to expand he has been a baker a li really long time and it's a little bit smaller small scale a scale bakery and uh, he's going to expand his business he's done really well over the years so we have uh, some negotiation going on with him and uh, Smokey but uh, we will see about those probably on the next episode but I don't know when that is is it uh, during the winter or in the spring we will see hopefully you enjoyed the episode hit that like and subscribe and uh, I hope I see you on the next one see you later bye bye